She is pushed to the limit in all the ways, in her marriage, sexually, her personality, at work. I think she is just touching the limits of it all. And I think that's put her into a fairly dark place. Eve is us. The audience see the world of, of the show through her eyes. Why am I here? Carolyn sacked Eve at the end of series one. We've now closed the Splinter Group and we've now gone back to join MI6 with some new people joining us. At the top of series two, she brings Eve back into the fold. What have you told these guys my role is exactly? Outside expert. Expert on what? Female assassins. A couple of new characters are introduced. The character of Jess, played by Nina Sasania, and the character of Hugo, this 25-year-old Lothario. I think there's some real similarities in their character that they, that they dig out and they end up with a sort of strange connection. There's Ori and Operation Running, but within that, Eve is kind of uh, running her own operation, which is really just a fine villain now. She's one foot in, one foot out, which is quite an interesting place to be. Quite dangerous place to be as well. Eve needs to explore, this is all unconscious, her darker side. And I think ultimately it's disappointing for Eve because Nico, he can't follow. I feel the emotion that each woman feels for the other is still something that me and Sandra are figuring out even in series two. She's so obsessed with not only being with Villanelle, it's also to succeed in her mission. She forgoes a lot of her friendships. All her relationships are pushed and tried. The one with Carolyn, the one with Nico, the one with Kenny. I love Sandra, oh! <laughs> I love her so much. This set is like the happiest, most chilled out set that I've ever worked on, so I think that's a huge credit to, to the person that Sandra is. And she's fun. She's a funny lady. What she brings to Eve is she portrays her in a way that is utterly relatable. Can I get you something? Water. Whiskey. A burger? Uh. Like all the best characters. She's inconsistent, which is what makes her completely fascinating. And she's instinctive, which means that a lot of the time, she doesn't even know what she's done until she's done it. We often say, you know, who is killing Eve, as in the title, and we always end up with the answer that if anyone is, it's, it's Eve herself. Mm -hmm.